Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by Cody Efa, who is the general manager of Nice Motorsports, uh, of course, in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. How's it going, Cody? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing well. So uh, we're just a couple weeks away, actually literally two weeks away. Uh, you'll be down in Daytona trying to uh, make the field. So uh, uh, what's the outlook for, um, uh, for, for you guys for this year? Oh, we're going to run three trucks full time. And, and uh, the goal of the year is, uh, you know, put quality trucks on the track like we've done uh, every year. And um, we want to go after a owner's championship, driver's championship on the 42. Um, we want to work towards our owner's championship, possibly with the 41 and win races there. And we want to uh, showcase what Lawless Allen, you know, is capable of doing in the 45 and, and get him up front and, and competing for top tens and top fives and, and eventually wins um, as he is capable of doing, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, you know, talking about um, with Carson, of course, the Worldwide Express Partnership, um, uh, you know, coming on board for all the races, that, that, that's that got to be big. I talked to Carson uh, before Christmas, and uh, he was just excited about, um, you know, the partnership with that. What, what How exciting is it? And apparently maybe possibly some new trucks for you guys this year too. Oh yeah, we uh, we're excited about that relationship, and it's something that uh, we started last year here. Um, really, this time, really maybe in December of this time last year or the year before, um, and we expanded on it uh, outside the forty truck last year, and, and ran you know, twelve races with the between the forty one and forty two with Worldwide's collars on our on our vehicle and branding, and uh, was able to get them their first win in NASCAR, obviously with Ross at Charlotte. Um, we just kind of expanded on that partnership uh, through performance and also through B2B opportunities and business. But um, they're great, great people, the whole staff over there. They're wonderful to work with. They're first class professional. Um, we're, we're very excited to uh, work with them again and honored to have them on our, our trucks. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned three three full time trucks this year. Um, of course, Carson Lawless will be full time. Uh, the 41 is going to be a multitude of drivers. Uh, um, as well what's uh what's that going to be like yeah there'll be a couple of drivers going through there and i think that's getting ready to come out uh sometime uh next week so uh we're excited we you know got uh, a high profile amount of people in there and it should be a great opportunity for us to win races and, and like i said try and compete for a owner's championship on that uh, truck as well yeah for sure um also, um, you guys, uh, you guys have the crew chief lineup as well. Uh, um, Wally Rogers will be with the 45. Uh, Phil Gould returns to the 42. And who's uh, who's going to be with the 41 team? Uh, Mike Hillman will be doing the 41. Okay. Um, but of course, Mike Hillman Jr., if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Mike Hillman Jr. So, <laughs> yeah. Of course, uh, Mike Hillman Sr. is uh, on the uh, on the 07 team with Blaine Perkins. So. Uh, kind of talking about going into this year, uh, just how excited are you? And of course, bringing back, uh, bringing back Lawless and the 45 team. How do you feel like, uh, how do you feel like that team is going to re really do this year? Because uh, really over the last few years, um, it, um, in the last few races, you guys put some solid results together. Yeah. I mean, we're excited to have Lawless in the 45 truck and uh, auto park it, auto dock it, auto charge it, um, that uh, umbrella companies. Um, supporting him throughout the last year and continue that this year. Um, he has a tremendous amount of talent. You know, he's he's a good kid. Um, you know, he he puts in the work. He's working out every day. He's here at the shop every day. He's around everyone. Like everything you want out of a, a young driver in this series, he does. And so that needs to translate on the racetrack. And I feel like uh, I'll take the blame. I didn't put the right people around him last year to do the right things and make the right calls. So um, we've revamped that team personnel wise. And, um, you know, we are going to give him a fresh start with some good people. Obviously, uh, Wally Rogers does a great job. He has a ton of experience. He's a good company man. He's, he's a good person in general. So having him holding the reins and, and helping Lawless will be tremendous. Uh, I'm going to help out on that program and focus a lot of my attention towards it to make sure we're doing the right things. I want to personally help oversee that 45 truck as well. So, um, you know, we have a lot of ex expectations and, and we should because, you know, we ran two years ago a part time schedule with Lawless and we went to Darlington and it was during the COVID time, no qualifying. And I think he started 31st, 32nd, something like that, deep in the field yeah. um, and drove up to eighth or ninth and 
and then Derek Krause wrecked him getting into turn three just because he just passed Derek and I don't Derek just wrecked him. So I've seen the potential there as that is not an easy racetrack to get around. So I think he has it. We we're just putting the right people around him. Uh, as far as the 42, you know, it's a senior group, um, top to bottom, very experienced, good people, hard workers. They have a lot of pride. Uh, Phil Gould leads that, you know, he's, he's tremendously intelligent. He's a racer. So that group should go out and, and win races, right? Uh, last year, I think we, we should have won a handful of races on that truck and it just didn't come together. And uh, the expectation is just flat out win on that team. That, that's, that's really it. Uh, not seconds, not thirds, not fourths, not fifths. Um, it's the win. And Carson knows that. Phil knows that. We know that. Uh, Worldwide Express, they, they know that. So that's what we're set up to do. And then the 41, it's kind of like an all-star cast uh, across the way. And we're excited to bring, you know, someone with talent out of the Xfinity Series to uh, be in that truck. Excited to have uh, some people, uh, a person at the Cup Series come run that truck. Uh, another professional athlete run it. So uh, we're looking we're looking forward to the 41 with, with Mike Hillman's leadership. I mean, he has a ton of wins, experience, championships. He can do it all. He's been a great addition to the company. Um, he's helped take a lot off my plate in the company, which is, is nice. So um, him and Phil and Wally are working great together. So you can see it from from top to bottom here. The, the three of them are really, you know, doing a good job uh, running their programs and, and putting it together from the fab shop to hear you know i know a lot of people know or not like we build our own chassis we hang our own bodies you know we, we do all that so you know last year at charlotte we took a, a truck with ross to the racetrack that was built you know right before that went to the wind tunnel never turned a lap on the track and, and got a, got the win with it so it was pretty nice to have our own chassis our own body getting a win right off the steel rack um, and we're looking to do a lot more of that this year and, and uh, you know, build new trucks, which we did a lot last year. And we're going to do it again this year and, and, and keep trying to run up front. Yeah. Um, of course, you also ran some uh, any word on if you were going to run some ARCA races this year? I don't think so. As of right now, I don't see that. I really um, I just really want to focus on these three trucks and, you know, doing them right and, and putting quality equipment on the racetrack and quality personnel throughout the company, which we have. And, um, you know, I, I don't see us fielding any ARCA. Um, you know, you might see us running some stuff with our dirt late model. You know, we did a little bit of stuff in the dome, um, in the end of last year, Eldora, um, you know, just a couple of races at Charlotte, you know, we'll probably do something with that, uh, with Carson, probably some other drivers other than Carson as well. Um, Tyler Carpenter will probably be in it a little bit this year. So, I don't, I don't see us doing anything outside of the, the three trucks and maybe, maybe the dirt car. Um, yeah, of course. Also coming in there. Also when you um, going into that, of course, this season here, this is a, this is a big year for the, for this team. What's it going to be like heading down to Daytona and these, these first few races, what do you really want to see out of this team? Oh, just, you know, make sure all our eyes are dotted and our T's are crossed and we come out looking professional and, and just really live up to what, our standards are, you know, I, I'll never be able to live up to the expectations of other standards. It's, I don't know if it's possible for anyone to do that unless you're winning every week. Um, but our goals and, and what I expect from the company, what our team owner out East expects from the company, you know, the, uh, I just look for us to not beat ourselves. Uh, I feel like we're going to be solid on pit road this year, which has been a Achilles heel of ours over the, uh, over the past couple of years. Um, you know, we're going to be using track house pit crews to do that, uh, which will be nice. Um, you know, we've got good people in the box. We've got good crew members, um, solid driver lineup. I mean, very excited about that. So, you know, you're always taught to uh, under promise and over deliver. And I've probably been the opposite this off season where I, I've told Al Nice that if we don't go out and win five or six races as a company, I've, I feel like I didn't do my job because I think the drivers can do it. I think the equipment can do it. The people here can do it. Uh, we just got to execute, not beat ourselves. And um, that's kind of, that's kind of the outlook. I, you know, as far as the first three races, just, I mean, we're just going to go race, you know, get points and race, not, not worry too much about anything else. Well, Cody Efok, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. And we'll let you, uh, we'll let you get back to work. And best of luck at Daytona in two weeks. And best of luck in the seat during the uh, 2023 season.
Thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate you having me on here as well.